Hey, good evening, everyone. Welcome back to Xenonauts. We just cleared another wreckage, lost uh, one of our experienced medics. Again, no, wait, we lost a brand new medic because we lost our experienced medic a little while ago. Unfortunately, oh, wait, wait, what? Highway strafed in the Arctic Circle. I have questions. Also, this oil rig. Military. Okay, that's an aircraft. Yeah, that's fine. All right. There's a bunch of stuff happening. Okay. Capture an alien officer for interrogation is our current goal. Just going to be tricky. Um, one aircraft has arrived. Okay, good. So that's our other condor. Did you guys buy another condor? Did I do that? Yes. It's being ordered. Okay, cool. But this one's here. So we can rename you. Oops, if I can type correctly. Number two. Great. Okay, uh, and we should make sure everybody is uh, in their correct spots real quick. There we go. Everybody's all sorted out. I need to... Oh, right, you're working on a new Foxtrot that I also need. Um, after that, I need to start working on upgrading the rest of our uh, our laser weapons. Oh, well, that was quick. Um, so both bases now have two Foxtrots, two Condors. This is what I want for the moment. Um, and now... Okay, so we have all the laser rifles that we need. We have the pistols that we need. Uh, laser carbines. That'd be good. I mean, we could do with more pistols, but I'll, I'll save that for now because those are sidearms for the snipers and things. Um, what is going to be the next best thing for these guys to have? Scatter lasers. Yeah, scatter laser is probably going to be the next best thing we can get. Um, so get me a single scatter laser. We're going to dump everybody onto that project. Actually, did I? Oh, good. I was going to say, did I hire more engineers? I did. Okay. Max that out. Great. It's only going to take one day to get that done. And then we can get the ooh, cyan analysis. Psychic seasons. If you're feeling a sudden panic attack, racket, change of thoughts, overflowing anger, or another strong emotional spike, act immediately. Uh, take cover. Try to control yourself. Possible there's a psionic attacks. Concentrate. Motivate. Prevail. If attack is particularly strong or your resistance is ineffective, drop your weapon and lie down to avoid friendly fire accidents and self-injury. Good advice. If your dudes are uh, at risk of getting uh, mind control, just put their guns down. Great. Okay, so now we have... Oh, now we have all of the planes that we want. Great. Condor 2. Wonderful. Now we just wait for the aliens to arrive. Seasons. Oh, yeah, we captured a season alive. Cool. Um, I guess dump everybody on to the alien alloy fabrication for now, because we don't have anything else to do. Uh, my new soldier didn't arrive yet. Oh. Fast. So we now have Alenium Explosives, which might allow one Foxtrot to shoot down a, uh, a scout. Which is good, because I have another scout to shoot down. Hmm. Alright, tail that for a little bit, because I don't know if it's going to go back over land. We'll let it... Oops. Try and drag the map over. Can I? Okay, just roll it like this. So you're you've got 72% fuel, so we can let this tick for a little bit. Ideally, I would like a crash site though. I just want to keep an eye on your fuel level. Oh, one soldier arrived. Great. Uh, you should have um, not that stuff. Uh, who are you, Susie? You're a medic. Get your get your medic kit out. Um, okay, this one's flying back towards land, and Foxtrot 2 has... Eh? 
Oh, hello. Little little scout. Send a condor out to deal with that one. He just kind of awkwardly flew into my Foxtrot's radar range while I was doing something else at this time. Okay. Got a last known location. Alright, this is this is not going anywhere. So I'm just gonna have you engage tailed UFO. And we're gonna see what two uh two Alenium torpedoes does to this thing. Crack on the after boosters and let's rock. See if we can get a side shot on her or something. And bug out. Perfect. Alright, crash into the sea. Not ideal, but better than it not crashing at all. Okay, head back. Um, Condor 2 is going to go see if it can find that thing, and this one should be about to... There it is. Okay. These we can probably just auto-resolve in, in the future. The ones where we just send up a Foxtrot with two torpedoes. I mean, there's not a lot of... Uh, not a lot of tactics being engaged in here. I guess it is fun to watch. Okay, but now we have a crash site. We can send people out on 10 hours until the scatter laser finishes. If I wait 10 hours, it's going to be nighttime. I'm going to have to wait for nighttime to end. Yeah, all right, we'll just go uh, We'll just go out now. Floating around a little bit here. You're about to run out of fuel. Right, what? Go, go over here. Okay, whatever. That's fine. UFO detected. Where is this? Oh, there you are. Okay, well, it flew past you, I guess. Fortunately, we have another crown door. Ah, frick! Night mission. God damn it. I can never... It's so hard to tell on the fucking world map uh, whether it's nighttime or not. Like, yeah, it's obvious if you're, like, you know, if it's, like, midnight or something, wherever you're going to, but, like, when you're right on the borderline, it's so hard to tell. I really hope that that's fixed in Xenonauts 2. That there's either a clear indicator of whether you're going to arrive after nightfall or if they're just at a wait until daybreak option uh, those would both be good all right we are in a pretty built-up environment with no real idea of where our enemies are and also it's nighttime so we're going to split up a little bit here actually gonna have you guys all stack up on this side the assault team can go through this building here so so clustered up now that's awkward um this is very not a great spot to be sitting for kaznar um i don't think i don't believe the aliens are affected by night fighting i'm pretty sure they have oh uh well the ufo might be right over there in which case we're just gonna have everybody beeline for that this police officer over here is fine uh, yeah, let's go and, uh, check out what's going, what's going on over here, guys. I'm pretty sure the crash is just, like, over there. Okay. This is all open. Find some cover. Oh, check that back corner, please. Uh. Yeah, I'm gonna guess that the crash is over here. So let's, uh, let's just have everybody... Everybody start heading over this way. Once we've secured the ship, I can just leave somebody in it. Um, and we can go hunting the rest of the aliens if there's any spread out across the map. Uh, I actually don't really like that spot. Let's get you back out here. Uh, oh, that's not great. Uh, yeah, go in. Oh, okay, you can't make it anywhere. Alright, just face out that way. Uh, 
Oh, civilians. Oof. Okay. Boss is injured. Uh, but Roche is right here. There's enough to use to do this. No kill like overkill. Okay. Um, Voss, let's get you back so the medic can take a look at you. Put your rifle down. Get your med kit out. Heal. Put your med kit back. Pick your rifle up. Great. Alright, and then Voss actually has enough to use to get back into cover over here. Okay, I'm gonna have Solberg come over here and watch this way. And we'll get everybody else. Uh we're actually running out of covered positions around here. Police arresting some aliens. Okay, so I know there's more aliens spread out around the map who we are going to have to deal with. Um, ideally, I would like to kill all of the aliens. Okay, scoot across this way. But uh, we're going to focus on securing the ship. And then worry about the aliens later. Okay, there's our wreck. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Not a huge fan of that. Not a huge fan of that at all. This is like exposed corner down here. Okay. Uh, I would quite like to know what's out this door. So I'm gonna Roche and Falk go check that out. Well, Everybody else. Oh, target sighted. Target sighted. Okay, run up into cover here. Keep eyes on. Can you shoot him? Block it. Really? Really? That's annoying. Really? <laughs> He's like so exposed right there. Oh my god. Okay, well, um, what if I make him keep his head down at least. There we go. Can you... You can actually move a step closer. Oh, or we can just kill him. I mean, he's keeping his head down. So that's two dead of... I don't actually know how many are on the scouts. Uh, okay. Alright, good. So this is all clear out here. Um, this back alley is most likely also clear, but... Just in the name of thoroughness. Excellent. Alright, let's start getting people around. So... Bell's got our shotgun. Solberg's a shield. So how do I want to organize this? Uh, let's have... Solberg and Bell are going to go over here. Yeah, yeah, this will work. Ah, right, Solberg has, like, no T's. Yes, I remember now. Alright, Solberg and Bell are going to loop around this way. We're going to have uh, Ross and Tan down this way with our, uh, our dead Xeno friend. Hmm. I do not like how open it is over here. The benefit that we have right now is that we're fighting uh, civilians who kind of suck at shooting at range. Um, so it's not quite as much of a detriment as it would have been if we were fighting seasons. Uh, and then I'm going to split you guys out like so for the moment. Just Oh, speak of the devil. Ah, you don't have enough to use for that now. You do, but that's not going to help us. Um, Alright, Tan, find some cover here for me. Just for my peace of mind. Uh, and, hmm. Not 
a huge fan of this. If we run over here, just to keep an eye on him, might be able to stop him from doing anything, uh, anything suspicious. He might just run at us, though. Ah, yeah. Oh. Oh, jeez, he obliterated my wall, too. Alright, you guys are both suppressed. This is unfortunate. But I do know he's somewhere on the other side of this wall. How many T's does it cost you to throw a grenade? Too many. Alright, let's find some cover. Okay, and there's no way around the back, so he has to come out this corner. Which is good. We can leave Kaznar here and have Voss do this. Keep an eye on him. While we bring up some other people to... Uh, how do I approach this? Can you... I mean, we may as well, right? <laughs> Just, like, put some shots on him. Good. That's what I was looking for. Okay, and now I can start running other people around. Get everybody ready to uh, take him out. He's probably going to take a shot at Voss, who should be okay. There's enough cover between her and him. Meanwhile, the rest of you, by which I mean the two other people who are far enough away that I'm not going to bother walking them around to this fight. Keep moving up the front of the ship, because I want to see what the cover looks like over here. Although this is right in the corner, so it's unlikely we're going to have a great spot to set anything up. Okay, what is he doing with his time? Nothing. He's sitting there. Just hunkering down. Ah, you also don't have a great shot. Ah, I see. He was holding his thing for reaction fire. Well, Put him down, Kaznar. Nope. No luck. Trying to see if I can break this wall open. Okay, that's awkward. Take the shot, Ross. There we go. Oh my god, I didn't realize the laser pistols made such a, like, dinky noise. Thump. Well, that taken care of. We can continue moving up on the ship itself. Uh, once everybody's got some TUs back. Oh, oh, there's a bunch of boxes right here. Great. That's actually perfect. So we can have the support team set up along here while the breaching team goes through the door there. Ideal. Uh, although we do have to be a little bit careful as we are exposed on our side here. So I'm just going to have a couple dudes keep an eye out along here. Just in case. I'll have you guys run all the way down here. Kaznar needs to reload. And Kaznar, too, can run. Get those steps in, boys. Ah, okay, so still an alien somewhere. This is good to know. But let's worry about the ship first. Okay, good. All clear. There's no other cover here. Alright. Falk, let's have you... If there's a guy in that little, like, one little square of darkness there, I'm going to be so upset. Nope, we're good. Okay. Falk, keep an eye out that way for me while everybody else is getting in position. So they're not, they don't seem to be opening the outer door. They're just opening the uh, inner doors right now. Okay, 
I'm going to leave you guys right here for the moment. While everybody else is getting in position. Same for you guys. I'm going to put Tan up front. Because he's going to be the one who's standing next to the door. And then we're just going to have you crouch and keep an eye on that. Uh, Falk, you're our, uh, you're our rear guard here. Just keep an eye on that. Yeah, that should be okay. Um, who's my breacher? You, right, Bell? You have the C4? I don't really want to... I don't want to want to rocket this door open with everybody standing so close. Alright, Bell. Um, put your laser rifle down. Get your C4 out. We're going to... Yeah, we'll just hold that ready for now. You can run in and drop it next turn. Oh, hello. Okay, so it's two... Oh, speak of the devil. That was a hell of a shot, too. Oh, and Falk's bleeding. And panicked. Great. Alright, change of plans, everybody. Four percent hit chance. Okay, let's, uh... Get everybody... I can't get Falk back into cover. Uh, that's awkward. I should have had you throw a smoke grenade, shouldn't I? Roche has a smoke grenade. Which she can't throw far enough. Nor can she hit that target. You, though. Well, awkward. Okay, Tan can't see. Unless I move him up here, where he's still not got a great chance. Okay, I'm going to risk having you come out here, because I want Tan up at the tree. You can crouch and take an aimed shot. Good. Okay, so Falk's not going to bleed to death this turn. Tan can heal her up next turn. Uh, and this, I guess, gives me an extra round to get Kaznar in position. Although now we don't have... I guess Roche and uh, Soulburger still watching the door, so. Oh, oh, there's a few people in there. Yeah, yeah, I know you're bleeding. Okay, well, it's a good thing we had her there, otherwise that guy probably would have walked up behind us and, like, straight up killed someone while I was trying to breach. Okay. You know the drill. Rifle down, med kit out. Heal. Med kit in. You're not gonna have enough to use to pick up your rifle, are you? Med kit in. Rifle up. Nope. Okay, next turn. Alright, Falk, you're waiting there. Ross, you're waiting. Uh where's the blast on C4? Right, if it's on the door. If it's like right. I want to get it. I want to see what it looks like if it's in that space there. So it's like just reaching their cover, so they should be okay. If Bell runs up, drops the charge, and then runs back. Oh, I just put you on top of his rifle. That's fine. He, he needs his shotgun out anyways. Uh, just have everybody back away a step. Just, uh, just in case. It's just making me a little bit nervous. Alright, now Bell, get your shotgun out. Everybody crouch. Hell yeah. I mean, everything's on fire, but still. That was perfectly spaced. Uh, I don't see anything in here. That's worrying. Okay, moving on up. There they are. Right, you don't have a shot. Moving on up. Okay, we got two of them in there. That is... Your job, Ross. Okay, 
Nobody on this side. Alright, so Ross can throw a flashbang for 34 to use. Mm. Mm. Okay, how best to do this? Bring you up here. Uh, can you see either of them? No, but I can move you like so. And then you might be able to suppress both of them. But you have exactly enough to use to shoot them. Okay, hopefully this doesn't suppress Solberg. Oops. Well, Solberg is not suppressed. Mistakes mistakes were made, I admit. Um, now there's a dude like... Please step forward. There he is. Okay, good. Alright, let's go put him down. some cover. Everything's on fire in here. This is, uh, not going 100% according to plan. If I'm, if I'm being honest. Uh, oh, right, you can't. Uh, okay, cool. Just hang out back here for a second, because, uh, Bell can move next turn. Okay, I don't hear anybody opening the doors, so I'm not actually sure... If there's anyone living in here, there might still be an alien roaming around the ship back here. Um, for now, we're gonna move up. Is that gonna explode? I don't trust it. I don't like having all my dudes this close, but we don't have a lot of room to, uh, to maneuver with here. Okay, good. Alright, get you up to the door. Get you up to the door you closer. I'm trying to hold on to TUs in case we need to reaction fire something. Still nobody opening the door. Interesting. Usually they're at least opening this interior door back here, but maybe he's already like all the way back there. Alright. Solberg. Door. Okay. Actually, don't. Don't crouch. Just thought about that. There you are. Okay. You got any friends in here? Nope, just you. Uh, yeah, sure, take a shot. Hey! Mission complete? Mission complete. Okay. Oh, wow, everybody survived too. Wonderful. So, <laughs> we blew up some stuff. But still. We got a bunch of money. Um, we got a bunch of promotions. Always good. And uh, let's see if we can't shoot down this other UFO. Real quick. Ooh, alien alloy fabric. Oh my god, I've got the hiccups. Alright, now we can get better armor. Always good. Uh, wait, what? Oh. Oh, that's awkward. Okay. Yeah, don't do that. Um, hmm. How are you? I don't know that two Alenium Torpedoes is actually going to be enough for this. We might honestly need both Foxtrots. And I would like this to be a crash site. Yeah, size medium. I didn't, I didn't see that because I wasn't paying attention. Uh, refueling two hours. Do I leave it until it's full of fuel? I'm worried that he's going to fly out of radar range or, like, do something else. Alright, let's... Yep, there it goes. He's flying out of radar range. But he's going towards the U.S., so the other base should be able to intercept. Send up two just in case. Uh, yeah, unless he turns drastically, I don't think it's worth... Yeah, that's what I figured he's doing. Okay, so I want to find out roughly how many missiles this takes. So we're going to engage this, and I'm going to have Foxtrot 2 not fire at all. 
see if two Alenium Torpedoes... I doubt that two Alenium Torpedoes are going to be enough to bring it down. Okay, you can bug out. Okay. You can bug out. Okay, alright. So four does it. So I do need to send two Foxtrots up to deal with the Corvettes. Good to know. Alright, well, um, that I think is where we will call it for today. Thank you all so much for watching. I will see you all in the next episode. Goodbye. <laughs>